Shabbat Shalom. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy, aka Tommy Kurt Todd, and I want to make this um quick video. It's gonna be a little game. We're gonna play the game. Which one does it belong? Because it is God actually speaking. Which one does it belong in this group? Because it is God actually speaking. Yeah, yes, see, can we listen to these four things I'm going to read to you? I'm going to come out of the King James Version of the Bible. I'm going to read three from the New Testament and one from the Old. So, yes, see, can we pinpoint which one does it belong in this grouping? Because it is actually God speaking. Okay, let's start in the book of Revelations and work our way back. Okay, Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. First Peter First Peter chapter one eighteen through twenty. For as much as we know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. From your vain conversation received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. The Gospel of John. Chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Okay. Now let us go to the book of Genesis. Chapter 4, verse 7. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 7. Hallelujah. It started at verse, it started at verse 6. And Yehoah saith unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin life at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. I want to read that again. If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted and if thou dost not well sin life at the door and unto thee shall be his desire and thou shalt rule over him so there it is four things that i read to you from the same bible the king james um translation now which one does it seem to belong and which one is actually coming from out of the mouth of Yah himself so now I'm going to ask another question whose report are you going to believe thus says Yah thus said the Lord or the opinion of men so now you know get you get you a nice quiet space to go to get along with your thoughts 
and find out from the four that I read which one do not belong with that grouping and which one is actually the words of our God. The words that we are supposed to be indeed following. So shalom, love, and blessings. And I'm ready to hear some feedback. Out.